see. All right, everybody. Here we, we go. We've already got our stuff going That's right, on. right. We are sitting here with Pam Tillis, my lovely co-host here, Reagan Richards. Hi, I am Reagan. in the Center Stage Magazine. Oh my gosh, miss. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm hanging in there. Yes. I'm good. I'm looking around at all the the, the, all the all the cute young dudes and all the starlets, <laughs> and I'm going, wow, this is right? country 3.0, well, <laughs> something well, like that. It's really, about really cool. exciting. Talk about cool, Miss Pam, tell us. Uh, you were just uh, named with one of the greatest country songs of all time by Rolling Stone magazine. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that it was is really cool. Quite, it really was yeah, I was gonna special. Say, like, I mean, you know, when you think of something like that, you think of Rolling Stone magazine, this song. Well, first of all, I had seen you, um, this was uh, a year ago, I saw you at the Opry. It's the same show that Don Schlitz had been on. I had met you. Oh, then. yeah. That was and a good said, night. Yeah. It was a great night. Really good night. And Vance you know, was there. Yeah. And it's just, it's just, it's wonderful to see. Um, you know, now it's very different, as as you know, country music very is different. very different now. And so you see something like Rolling Stone, and then it's like, I mean, you've always been so cool to me. Oh, thank but now, you. It comes it, full circle. It does. It does. And, uh, you know, even though I grew up in the business and my dad was famous, sure, yeah. I, I kind of found my way to music anyway. I think it's one of those deals. I think I would have... I always said, God saved me moving expenses. <laughs> he gave me a famous daddy and brought me, you know, brought me yeah. to Nashville that way. But, um, but I loved music. Um, he was off out on the road. But, and so I fell in love with all kinds of music. Yeah. And talk about full circle because country today is very much a hybrid. Sure. You know, country has never been just one thing. Right. It never, never has. was. And, uh, you know, people talk about your hardies and your, you know, uh, just a, it's so different. Uh, and what Lainey's doing, the edge, you know, it's very country, it's traditional, but she's got a rocking, yes. a rocking, yes. pers you know, persona. Absolutely. But um, I just remember as a kid being in a rock and roll, listen, uh, reading Rolling Stone back yeah. when it was yeah. print. Yeah. It's still print. But, <laughs> right, right, right. You know, it was this big back right. then. Right. It was ginormous. We were the best magazine. But we were, you know, reading about. I don't know, The Who and Yes and Led Zeppelin and the Almond Brothers and all this stuff. So anyway. And people are reading. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, but they, yeah, they do Led cover Zeppelin. country now. You're right, it's cool, right. But, but, yeah. but to have to have one of yeah. the greatest yeah. songs. I never thought a, I'd be in that. I, I never <laughs> thought. That's where I was going with that story. I never thought <laughs> yeah. I'd end up in that Absolutely. list. Absolutely. Something else you did recently, which um, we were just talking about how amazing it was. You were part of the Patsy Cline tribute. Oh, that was a good and night. you sang a song. Yeah. That was absolutely my favorite. When I first came to, to Nashville, I did a demo, and I demoed so wrong. Oh, And it is one wow. of my favorites. And when you oh. sang that song. Oh, good. Um, yeah, Daddy had uh, two songs recorded by Patsy. I talk about that in my show, I, you know, what it was like to grow up around these iconic women. Yes. But I didn't get to meet Patsy. But Daddy uh, wrote two songs for her. And So Wrong was one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other one um, was, uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, um, what was the song Grace Potter sang that night? That that was the oh, other song. Uh, um, Oh, dear gosh. What yeah. Strange? I, that was the other one he okay. wrote. Thank yes. you. Save your moment. Yeah, and I, actually, I was wondering. I got there, and I went, who did they give Strange to? It, But it was Grace, and she sang it great. Well, I'll tell you, the thing about it and, and what, what you did with it, which, of course, Patsy did, that how the song was probably meant to be written, learning the heart on the sleeve. You know, oh, when, yeah. when you sing that line, oh, yeah. Yeah. you know, that's so wrong. It's just you you absolutely oh, yeah. feel it. I, I know you experienced this because you, you learned the song too, but there's, I, I find uh, it's really neat. I've, I've done a couple of tribute things over the last couple of years. I did one at Graceland. Uh, it was Elvis Presley week, and I learned a couple of Elvis songs. Oh, how fun. And I did a tribute for Wanda Jackson uh, in Oklahoma and in, in Tulsa. And, and then this thing for Patsy, there's something different about learning a song to singing it. Mm hmm uh, to sing it as opposed to just enjoying it. You know, these are songs we've heard, heard all, our, uh, all of our lives. But when you go to learn it and you study what that artist did, I mean, really study every little nuance and every little detail, 
it's a really fun it is. experience. It is. Because you're because feeling it. And you're not just and hitting you, the notes. That's you're right. feeling it. And you pick up on everything mm-hmm. that they did that mm-hmm. made it uh, that made it iconic. Right. And made and it made it last. Forever. Exactly. And when you yeah. sang that note, it's like there's there's I always call it like the cry oh, in yeah. the voice. Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. it's just such a yeah. you know, just such a heartfelt song. We're, we were talking before I'm cameras. just admiring the oh. interview you <laughs> I just you. love watching you too. Oh, no. like, don't even mind singer, me being singer to singer. Oh, wow, this is so but sweet. But you you listen that way. So yeah, I, I no, I'm I'm yeah. so I, Try it. I'll, some, shut, I'll shut up. Just keep no, going. No, no, no. Try, try it sometime. Just like really focus yeah. in on it and listen to every little thing they did. And it's a different experience. Yeah. Yeah. Before yeah. the cameras came on, we were talking about fashion. We were talking yes. about Naomi Judd. Yes. Yeah. And, and and speaking about the, um, the the Patsy Klein tribute, which was just such a, a group of powerhouse women. All of these yeah. amazing, powerful women all coming together. Patsy would have been so proud. That's yeah. what I wanted to talk to you about. She would have. As an icon yourself, and now having all of these these phenomenal female artists coming together to honor a legendary artist. Yeah. I mean, what is what is that like? Well, you're you're just with all of these people. You're all singing these wonderful songs. What's that feeling as Pam? Tells? You know, having lived in this uh, my whole life and and had a multi-decade career, I do look at it through a certain lens, and it's it's a little bit bittersweet. Um, you see the ones that have been there a long right. time, like like myself and, and Pat Benatar was there. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, and then you see the, the ingenues mm-hmm. and it's all ahead of them. And I just always kind of, you know, think back to, to what sure. that was like for me. And um, and I, I understand the road that they've set, that, you know, they've set out on. And think they of, don't even know. Right. <laughs> they have no this. idea. They think they know, but they don't know. And it is still, um, it's funny because at Patsy's time, it was a man's world right. and country right. music. It's still pretty tough for the gals out there. It is. It, it really it, is. It really is. And you know what else is tough? Your people are telling me we've got to wrap this up. Oh, we I just want to listen more. <laughs> All day long okay. we could do I this. Know. Well, okay. can we go dot, dot, dot? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's right. To be continued. Yeah, right. Continue, I would like guys. that. I have to let her go. And I don't want to. Uh, and, and, oh, my gosh. Thank you for being Let's visit again. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. What what an an honor. Honor. We have so many more questions. Well, and I'm sorry I'm a little long-winded. I come by it. Yeah, Honest. no, we love, we love it. <laughs> Tillis is her famously tell, long-winded. Tell fans where to find you, real okay? Quick. Uh, and all the socials, um, TikTok and Instagram yeah, TikTok and Facebook, and are we on Threads and all that? dot com. Oh, I have a website. Guys, right. I have a website. Com. I believe all the links for, are there. For a long time, it was uh, tied up. But somebody hijacked it, and and oh, I, oh, it, no. it would appear that I was selling Viagra on my website. That's well, not me. Well, that's that not. Listen, no, that, that was listen. you. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Jeannie Seely got hacked too. It happens. And it does awful. happen. And but I mean, she's got a lot more followers now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hijack Pam Tillis's yeah, website. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh, I could make me. so many bad jokes. <laughs> oh my that, god! That is definitely I to be continued. I could make so many. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop there. <laughs>